there, good looking. Join me for this fun and going to be awesome and amazing. Hit ab workout using the mini ball. That is right, we're gonna hit the core with the mini ball as well as use the mini ball as a prop for some of our cardio exercises. Now heads up, if you don't own a mini ball, you can definitely try a small pillow, all right? Awesome, let's go start sweating. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com as well as over50fitness.co. That is right. I have an app now called over50fitness.co and they are enjoying this workout now ads free. So if you'd like to grab a 14 day free trial, head to the description down below after the workout. And listen, if you're here on YouTube, it is so awesome to have you. Make sure you click that subscribe button so we can keep training. All right, shall we get warmed up? Okay. Let's start with the left leg back for me. And we're going to just step back a good stride for me and just lift the arms up and then drop the knee. So you're dropping the back knee just a little bit. Excellent. Now I'm going to add this depth of knee drop as we go. So here we go. I'm going to come down and see if my knee can touch the mat and all the way up, straight leg, heel to the ground. So if you're not comfortable bringing the knee all the way down, you go into that comfort zone that feels good for your knee joint. Otherwise, join me on this so that we really hit into the hip flexor while we keep moving through the arms to get into the shoulders. Last two. Good. And one. Let's do the other side. This is also a great way to warm up the ankle joint and the calf. So let's start with that straight leg. And then we're just bending the knee a little bit, right? We're just getting that motion, figuring it out. And then if you feel comfortable, drop it a little lower. And then just keep going. If you're able to go all the way to your ground, awesome. If not, you go in your range of motion. When we go back, try to get that heel to hit the ground with every rep, pushing the back of your knee to the wall behind you. Last one. And release, awesome. I want you to take the right leg to the ground. Tuck the toe under, other leg extends out, arms in front, sit your bum back, and then come forward just past your wrists. Warming up into the hips some more, as well as into the inner thigh. So we've got two movements that we're starting with. All of our circuits are done in two different movements. 30 seconds on the clock, three rounds, and then we move into a different circuit. Last two. And one, now stay back here for me. Take that opposite hand behind the ear, rotate under and reach it and twist, good. Work it into T-spine here. Last two. And one, beautiful. Let's do the other side. Here we go, you ready? So this toe's pointed to me, yeah? Good, hands in front, sit back on the heel. Oh gosh, that feels good. You're gonna feel great after this workout. We're gonna get our sweat on, our heart rate up, train the core. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work, right? <laughs> you know when I say fun, it means work. Here we go, sit back for me. Other hand behind the ear. Bring that elbow down and then rotate up. So we're still sitting back on that back heel. So we lock out the low back and the twist just comes through our T-spine or thoracic spine. Last two. And one, come on up, Woo. All right, you ready? Low impact jumping jack, beautiful. Stepping it side to side. You got it, chest up, head up. Move those arms. If you wanna make it a little bit more impact, up, okay? We're here for 10 seconds, and then we'll grab a quick sip of water, and away we go. Last three, two, one. All right, quick sip if you need it. We start with a squat figure eight, and then hit the mat for a crunch. Grab your mini ball, get set up, feet wide. We're grabbing on the ball and sinking into a squat and figure eight with the hands. Yeah, this is fun actually. Now we, we will reverse the direction in three, two, one, reverse. Whoo, how'd you do with your coordination on that? <laughs> I'm impressed. Last few seconds and then we hit the mat and get into the core. One more time. All right, so get your mini ball or your pillow. 
definitely works. Bring it to a bit the small of the back. Place the hands light behind the ears. Crunch back and exhale. So we're not going all the way to the ground. And you're going to feel your abs pretty darn quickly. And uh, support the head with your hands so your neck doesn't take all the motion. And exhale when you lift up. These are our two moves, all right? We have 10 more seconds. Back to squat figure eights. Time. Oh, that one's evil. That one's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Just a heads up. You're going to feel that one tomorrow. You ready? Figure eight it. I don't care which direction. Go. Now we're keeping that spine aligned. So we're not rounding the back to get that ball under the thighs. We're using the legs. Yes. I know. I keep preaching it. If you're here, you've heard it a million times. Ready? Reverse the direction. Go. Listen, you guys, we only have one spine, so let's be kind to it. In three, two, one, hit the ground for the crunch. Woo! Now let's bring the ball a little higher up, so it's now around our shoulder blade region. Interlace the hands, and then crunch back and exhale. Now if you're able to, you're gonna allow that back of the head to hit the ground, but you're moving through the abs and the T-spine, not through the head dropping back. So the neck is pretty stationary on this. Woo, baby. We'll go back to the ball lower in our last set. Last 10 seconds. Again, it's that exhale when you curl up. Time. Woo. All righty. Oh, and by the way, we have no rest in between all of our circuits, too. <laughs> See? Welcome to Fitness with PJ. Go! Fitness with PJ, where we rest when we're dead. Until then, we move. I like this move. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, reverse! And believe it or not, that little reverse move, that's about as coordinated as we get here at Fitness with PJ and Over 50 Fitness, at least with my workouts. <laughs> Last three, two, one, and drop her down. All right, so now the ball's back low, okay? We're just hitting different fibers of the rectus abdominis with the positioning of the ball. So we don't go all the way back now. You ready? Woo, baby. Oh, boy. This one's going to be tough, you guys. But we got this. This is our final one. Final crunch. Come on. Ten seconds. It's not a big range of motion. One more time. But you probably feel those abs, right? Huh? Come on, answer me. <laughs> All right. Why don't you give me some room to the side? You ready? Shuffle twice. Go one, two, dunk it. One, two, dunk it. Now, <clears throat> now if you'd like, you can add a little bit of hop and a little bit of jump. But that side shuffle, you're in that quarter squat. We're working lateral hip now. Explosive movement, whether you're jumping or just lifting off the heels. Chest up, head up. Come on, 10 seconds. Remember, no rest. One, two. Good. Time. Woo. So again, you can do the lower high impact. Both will get the heart rate up. Now let's take it wide with our squat. Toes are turned out. Sink down into an iso hold squat. Good, bring the arms up. Now lift the chest up, so we're really long. Beautiful, and just pass the ball. Now, you may be thinking, PJ, are you off your rocker? What's this got to do with my abs? What do you think supporting us to stay in this position? Yes, your core. So it is fired up. I am off my rocker though, FYI. <laughs> Totally on point with that comment. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> but I will never lead you astray with the exercises. <laughs> Other advice I might. All right, two side shuffles. Let's go. Ready? So again, we can go up. We're low impact, but we're still sinking, okay? We're still sinking. We're working the hips. We're working the thighs. And then if we want, we can add that hop. <sighs> Whew. 
So last 10 seconds. Remember, two moves, three rounds. We're on our second round. Time. Woo. All right, so feet wide. Toes are turned out. So when we bend the knees, the knees are tracking with the toes. Let's give it a try. Good. Now lift up the chest. Arms up and go. Nice. Lower you go, the harder you'll work. So you can adjust your intensity. Just stay in that squat. Do some sort of knee bend for me. Good job. Last couple of reps here. One more. Time. Woo. That gets the shoulders, doesn't it? All right. One more of each, then we're moving on. So let's start with low impact. Ready? Two, quarter squat. Good, dunk it. Two, dunk it. Now add a hop if you like. If you're doing the jump with me, I want you to land soft. Takes more muscle control. All right, you're in control of your body. Don't be flinging shit in space, okay? Control it. Yes, I swear sometimes. That's offensive. I'm really sorry. There are other great workouts you can do that don't have swearing. <laughs> Toes turned out, please don't email me because <laughs> your emails go in a special bin <laughs> called the trash bin. <sighs> All right, this is our last one. We're moving into two new moves after this. I'm going to show you a really cool lunge. It'll be easy on the knees and help the hips go out of its lateral motion. So we want to make sure the hips move in all different motions. And unfortunately, we don't do that because we're always going, we're walking forward and back, forward and back. So this new lunge I'm going to teach you is going to be great. Great for the hips. One more time. Woo. All right. I want you to think you're on a clock. Okay. Your center of a clock. That's 12 o'clock. We want to hit four o'clock and seven o'clock. All right. So step back. Lateral lunge, press, other side, press. So when we step back, the knee that, or the leg that's stepping back, that's bending. The other leg's staying in the center of our clock and straight. So they call this a transverse lunge. We're moving out of our normal linear pathway. Now we hit the mat in one more rep to get some crossovers in time. All right, this one's gonna be awesome. This one's gonna leave a mark as well. So get that ball back around the small of your back, hands light behind the ears, exhale, and now twist it. So these are not big ranges of motion, but oh my goodness, you're gonna feel those abs, aren't you? Yes. Sometimes more is not better. It's taken me 52 years to figure that out. <laughs> Lifting and twisting. Oh yeah, last couple of reps here. Hitting the obliques now, your waist muscles. One more. Time. Woo, baby. All right, that transverse lunge. So where's our setup? Feet are hip width and center of your clock. All right, now step back, ready. One leg straight, one leg bent. Press it. Good. As you get the move and get your form, I want you to speed it up because this is the more high intense version of the circuit right here, of the two moves. Oh, where I live, it's a beautiful day. Sun's coming up. Oh, love the sun. Time. Okay, so crossovers. Now we're going to bring the ball around the shoulder blade region. Okay, knees are bent. Ready, set. So this one, we may go over that ball a bit more. Maybe your head hits the ground, but it's hitting the ground because we're moving through the T-spine, not allowing the head to just drop. So I'm supporting my head quite a bit with my fingertips. Good. My chin's tucked in. I've got that length in the back of the neck. And then same thing as I've been cooing you and all the crunching patterns. Exhale as you lift. One more each side. Time. Woo, baby. All right, one more of each. And then we move on to our final circuit. 
This is fun, isn't it? I told you, I, I would never lie to you. Ready, go. I might lead you astray sometimes, but I will never lie. <laughs> And if you haven't figured out, if you've been with me for a while, you definitely have caffeinated PJ today. I just had a cup of coffee before this <laughs> time. So if you're just starting out with me, there's a difference between caffeinated and uncaffeinated. <laughs> All right, so we've got the ball low again. Ready, set, go. Whew. And this is caffeinated. Whew. I'm filming in the morning, and that's something I very rarely do. I am a... Uh, Afternoon exerciser, three o'clock, <laughs> that's my time. I'm not a morning girl, I'm not a night girl. <laughs> Basically, three to five, <laughs> that's my peak. Woo. Oh gosh, come on you guys, last three, two, one, time. Woo. Okay, stay down. Bring that ball in between the knees, heels close to the bum. Heels, knees, air, hip width, arms down by your side. Lift up into a bridge, tuck your shoulders under, lift the head, tuck the chin in, back of the neck is long. Now we just hold this while we do pulses, firing up that inner thigh of ours. Push through the glutes and the heels to get the hips up. Don't flare the rib cage so there's no major extension happening in your low back. The movement's coming through the glutes. When we're done, we're in a seated position, too, for our ab move. Time. Woo! Love that. Fires up those inner thighs. Now, hold on to the ball for me in front. Sit up nice and tall. So stack that vertebrae. Good. Now keep it stacked. Lean back and simply hold here while the arms go up. Whoa. Now, the arms coming up and trying to maintain that stacked spine is super challenging. So what can you do? Well, you can hold the ball, right? Get rid of the arm lift. There's always ways to tone things down if it gets too much. The key is to find what's going to push you within your comfort zone or outside your comfort zone and keep going and be consistent at it. Time, okay? I have seen magic happen with people who simply stay consistent. Here we go. Bridge. Squeeze. Go. And I have seen magic happen from the ages of 20 years of age to late 70s. It is super cool. So you're never too young and it's never too late. Woo! You feel those inner thighs? Yes. This is good stuff, you guys. Those inner thighs of ours, we need to keep them strong to keep the pelvis in line. All right, so where's our first? Step here, stack the vertebrae. Second step, lean back. Third step, if you'd like, add a ball lift. Not losing that lower lumbar curve. See right here as my arms come up, I kind of went around my low back. So you've got to really fight it by using the deep core muscle, your transverse abdominis. I know, I'm throwing around some really fancy words this workout. Oh gosh. So this is our last circuit, you guys. I am damn proud of us. We're gonna have a sip of water after this series. Whew. Do some stretches and then you can add another workout in if you like or pat yourself on the back and you did it. Continue on with your day. Here we go, ready? Bridge, back neck long and pulse. A little movement every day does the body a world of good. I would rather see you do little bits throughout the week other than one or two hour workouts two times a week. You'll get more benefit on a more regular basis than a sporadic with longer workout. Whew. Time. This is it. Here we go. Let's stack that spine. And that includes the neck, right? All right, now lean back. Whoa, feel those abs. Add the ball lift if you'd like. Never think length of workout is going to give you a better workout. It's intensity of your workout that's going to give you a better workout. It's 
So it's how much effort you put in. Last 10 seconds. Time! Well done, you! Woo. All right, grab a quick sip of water. As I said, I'm going to lead you through some stretches because I never just leave you hanging. All right, we need to stretch out everything that we just worked. And then, like I said, this is a great precursor if you want to head into a strength workout or pat yourself on the back because you just trained hard. All right, everybody, let's start with doubling up the mat and putting our left knee on it. Got it? Good. Now, if you can, I want you to grab onto that ankle and pull the heel to the bum. Good. And hold. You can also use the other hand. I find that a little more challenging, but I do see um, people in yoga use their opposite hand holding on, and they don't seem to have any issues. So it <laughs> could be just be a PJ issue, <laughs> just unable to figure that out. But if you're not able to grab your heel, don't worry about it. You'll hold the stretch here, and you will still get a beautiful stretch in that hip flexor, which worked with all our squats and lunge patterns. Pulling the heel up just makes it now hip as well as quadricep. And then from here, if you need to hold on to something for balance, go for it. But you want to square your body so you've got both hips, both shoulders, and your eye line straight ahead. And we've doubled up that mat for reasonings for our knees. You can also throw a pillow under the knee. That's another joint we want to keep happy as we get older, right? Our spine and our knees. <laughs> Actually, there's a number of joints. Hips and shoulders too, release. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. So first, let's get the hip flexor stretch. All right, squeeze that right glute nice and tall in the body. Ah, it feels nice, doesn't it? Then if you want to increase the intensity, good. And then if you grab that foot, I want you to then rotate the body so you're squared straight ahead again. And release. Have a seat on your bum. Mirror me. Take your right leg in its out on an angle. This one's inside. Take this hand so that it's pressing into the inside of that calf. Side bend here. And then use this bottom arm, your right arm, to help twist the body. And look up while we stretch into the obliques. Lats. Oh, gosh. That feels good. We're also stretching in the QL. So we're stretching here actually in a number of areas and that can be a bit of an issue if it, they're tight, hyperactive, causing low back pain. Um, I know this is one of my areas I need to really pay attention to. Otherwise, I get tight, locked up, and then my low back starts to hurt. It's release, let's do the other side. Here we go. All right, so we sit up tall first, hand on the inside of that calf, now reach up, and once again, I'm using this arm, some strength to push into that leg. Oh, while I rotate. And release. All right, let's stretch out the abs because they definitely worked hard. All right, so rectus abdominis here. Drop the hip bones to the ground, elbows under shoulders. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and just drop the hips and look straight ahead or slightly up if you'd like. Now, we don't want to feel this in your low back, so if you do, tighten your glutes or push down with the laces into your ground. And then if you've got a really mobile spine, you can definitely press straight up to straight arms but we're trying to find the length in the front of the body with this while we get the extension in the back of the body. This is another important stretch for those of you who do have low back issues and as well if you sit a lot for your job, i.e. at a computer. And release. 
We did it. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And like I said at the beginning of the workout, you know, if you're not part of Over 50 Fitness, we would love to see you there. There's a free 14-day trial down below. But if you're happy here on YouTube, then hey, click that subscribe button. It does help the channel, and we would love to get more workouts to you as well. Have yourself a wonderful day. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Bye.